We are about to head into an outdoor store, storm the clearance section, hopefully find some fishing gear for the Lolo, and then go fishing at some unexplored waters. All right, so we're at Academy. We actually didn't have these stores where I'm from, but the ones that I have gone to have a crazy clearance section. We all know fishing is expensive enough, but it's just so cool to me to go to a store like this. It's kind of like treasure hunting. You never know what could be on clearance. Last time we found some pretty good deals. I cherished a moment in high stakes. I used to spend time on my time thing. <laughs> yeah, so check out this bad boy. I, uh... Bought a little scooter. You guys don't know my foot is like broken. So this is supposed to help me get around a little better. I don't know if it looks the coolest, but it's a scooter. Hey, this is a five place. I turn up my phone for like five days. I show it, I know it's my time late. All right, we're inside. We found clearance, but these are shoes. I'm not looking for shoes, dude. This thing's not the easiest. <laughs> Oh my god, what a freaking tip it. Alright, so apparently I took the long way and went all the way around the store, scooted around until I found the fishing section. The thing is, this thing is not as easy as I thought it'd be to like balance on, but we're getting there. Look what I found. I've been saying I need a beach cart. I don't know how expensive these are. I don't know how much beach fishing we're going to do in the near future either. But these things look pretty cool, man. I just don't know how I transport that. I think they have hitch adapters and stuff. I don't even know what aisle I'm on right now. Skirt. We've got some, oh, this is like deep saltwater stuff. That's not what we're going to be doing today. And gas cans. All right, I circled around a couple times. I still don't know if they have a clearance section. But look at these giant, like, look at this freaking big canoe. They got big boats here. They've got a crazy kayak section. I actually need one of these for when I start to kayak again, hopefully in the near future. It's just like a big stick, but it's not a stick. It's like an anchor you can put down and kind of attach yourself to. It's like a shallow water anchor. Hopefully going to be getting back on one of these guys. And not too long. Next video, we will know um, the MRI reading and stuff from the foot. Okay, so ask somebody. This one's a little bit different, this Academy. In previous ones, you guys kind of seen their sections and bins. This one, there's just stickers, which makes more sense. Like, look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm actually gonna pick these up. $6.97. You save a little bit on these. These are the Kitek 3.8 inch. I'm gonna put it in my little basket right here. So this whole section has certain things that are on sale. Like, look at this. Slinkos. I've never tried these. These are newer baits by Yamamoto, and I know Mama, <laughs> Mamamoto, Yamamoto was bought out, and they kind of have gotten a little bit different. They got the branding different and stuff. I still, if I was gonna buy a Yamamoto, man, OG Sanko. So we've got these dudes, like a dollar off. This isn't, I feel like, as fun as the bins, because the bins you could just pick stuff out, and you know, it's like bobbing for baits. This is fun though, it's kind of like a little scavenger hunt. $4.97 was $6.49. I'm gonna pick these up. Darker baits, like black, blue, supposed to be pretty good for Florida. I don't know if you guys can hear either. They are bumping Christmas music. I'm not mad at it. All right, let's just go through real quick. I'm not gonna pick everything up that's on clearance. We got some brush hogs here for a bit of a discount. Down at the bottom, chartreuse U-tail, $2.97. Eh, throw it in. We got some GS, that's interesting. A bunch of these are for sale, as well as a GS frog, eat me. None of these other frogs are really on sale. Keep going down. Okay, this is where we start. Look at all this yellow right here, man. Jigs on jigs. Look at all that yellow. I gotta be honest, I'm not a big jig guy. Oh man. All right, look at all this too. Clearance, clearance, clearance. So I don't know if I said it today, we are gonna be fishing a new freshwater spot that I've never been to before. What do we got here? Crankbaits, crankbait. We might pick up some kind of moving bait. See, I don't like these as much. It just says the original price and then it says clearance. So how much exactly are these Ned, Ned Lock rig jig heads? Bro, what the heck is this? Swimming snake. Just looks like a worm, worm with a swivel. I don't know. If you're into that, $6. Not on clearance though. Oh, I might pick this up actually. Six cents? I don't know how much that is. We will see. Oh man. Okay, clearance hooks. We actually need these. 649 to 497. Put these in here. That'll help with the worms. Let me see here. This is 397, but these are three quarter ounce. Like gold jig heads. Probably a little too oh jeez. Trail over my foot. Probably a little too heavy. These are chartreuse, one sixteenth ounce. What is this? One eight. That's a little light, but that might work. These are squadron baby jig heads. Got a little shine to them. Oh, hello. Those in here. A lot that you can actually get here on clearance, man. There's a big bladed jig, basically a chatterbait, for $9.97. That's the clearance price, dude. That's that's a little that's a little crazy. I could buy a normal chatterbait for less than that. And then we have over here for clearance. I might pick this up. Good old rattle trap. Actually, one more thing. This is on clearance too. 
get some of these for our worms. Boom. I think we're good. All right, I missed this little section down here. I think we're gonna make an executive decision. This is 297 and it's on clearance. So I don't know how exactly much this is, but we're gonna switch that out for this dude right here. Even though this looks pretty cool. This one was like seven bucks before clearance. So put that back. Way cheaper. All right, this is the, this is kind of dangerous. So apparently there's a lot more than meets the eye. This is a different aisle. Another chatter babe, we got chatters right there. Those are all on clearance. Seven dollars as opposed to the normal eight. I might pick one of those. Oh, hold on. The jackhammer? We're gonna pick that up. $16.99, now it's $10. These are like probably more than they should be in the first place. Oh, this is so cool too. This is a little bit discounted, like a dollar, but it's like a little bladed jig head. You can put those swim baits on there. Again, this is dangerous. None of the catfish stuff. Looks like it's on sale. Dude, this Christmas music is a vibe right now. Oh my gosh, look at all the clearance. It's all like smaller crappy stuff. Don't need any of that. I think we've pretty much got everything we need. All right, let's go, it stopped raining. Hopefully we could get some fishing in before maybe it's gonna rain again. But I think this is kind of like a uh, less. Just because things are clearance and you know, discount and stuff, it all adds up in the end. We spent like $50, I did not expect to spend that much. However, the objective of this video today is to only fish with stuff that we buy from clearance. And there was just so many options. And I feel like I'm gonna wanna have a lot of options because I've never been to uh, this body of water before that we're gonna head to. So we got some stuff in here. I don't know if I look the coolest on it, but that scooter worked pretty good. And I think I'm just gonna have to get off my foot for a while. This scooter is going to help us be able to do stuff like this. It's supposed to be off-road, so it should be able to go on grass kind of-ish. It's been really raining, so it's probably muddy out, but that's the thing. And then like piers and other stuff, I just won't have to like be on the foot as much. You know what I mean? We'll see how it goes though. We're pretty decent in here, but yeah, man, I'm excited. We got some new baits. We got some rods ready to go. I have a feeling this might be pretty good though. All right, here we go. Skirt. Oh, oh. All right, we made it to the fishing spot. Oh. Not bad. All right. <laughs> Let me show you the fishing spot here today. One of you guys actually recommended me try to fish here. And I looked on Google Maps and it has like a sidewalk around it. it has a fence though, which is kind of interesting to like fish at. But this would be kind of cool. Let's take a, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I see a bass right. Hold on. I literally see a bass down there. All right, we'll go over everything we got in a second right now. We just have this little weight, hook. We're gonna use one of these black and blue worms we bought at the store. I don't even know why I'm trying to be quiet. I don't know if these fish care or not. All right, that's crazy. There's literally two bass right. I couldn't even see them if I didn't have my polarized shades on. Oh, jeez. All right. It'll be kind of interesting too to see if we can actually lift these fish if one hits over the freaking fence. I've never really fished at a place that had a fence like this. I don't know how pressured this place is. I don't know what kind of good baits work here. I don't even know if those fish are still down there. I think I might have spooked them. Hello? Oh, we definitely spooked them. Yeah, no, they're not here anymore. <laughs> okay. So I'm just gonna take a cast over this way. We're just gonna kind of see what the heck happens here. The real goal for myself is to try to catch a bass. I have not caught a bass in a long time and I haven't really, like I'll be completely honest, when I've been fishing freshwater, I've been kind of just fishing the same old ponds that I've found because the big issue right with Florida than the place that I'm at and just a lot of places oh I see a bass over here a lot of places just don't want you fishing there's so many no fishing signs it's like a crime I don't see any no fishing signs here I don't know if I'm really allowed to fish here but if there's no signs I mean you know what I mean I feel pretty good about it this water is actually pretty darn clear it looks pretty good there's definitely some gunky kind of uh green stuff in here this is fun though man we're just gonna be kind of experimenting and yeah we got a whole bag full of a bunch of freaking stuff at the store so we'll throw some moving stuff we'll throw some other stuff and i'm just hoping we can catch something and this is florida too i mean there could be way more than just bass in here 
Oh, 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 oh. Is that a bite or is that? I think I want some weeds. Yeah, some weeds. There's definitely some of that down there. But yeah, there's also a chance if we're fishing in Florida that there could be some big freaking fish in here. All right. So a couple of those casts were pretty close to shore. Let's try to just freaking, oh my God. Is that why fishermen aren't allowed at places? <laughs> okay. Good thing is I didn't do any damage to the fence. Might have damaged my confidence there. It's been a while since I've thrown a bait caster, right? Holy crap, that just woke me up, dude. All right, we're just gonna put that down. I think that might be mother nature being like, hey man. Oh, dude. See, that's what you gotta be careful of. Big freaking ant hills in this grass. That might've been mother nature saying, hey, don't throw the worm right now. So we're gonna reevaluate our lives. I'm gonna bring out one of these bad boys. Right here, a little Kai Tech. We're gonna see if we can do something on that. On this other rod, I have rigged up. This is the 1 8 ounce little jig head that we got. And we're just gonna slide this dude on there just like that. It's a little bit more finessey. That big weight was kind of clunking around. Could have been scaring these fish. I don't know. See little bait fish in here. They gotta be feeding on something, right? Let's not smack this into the freaking fence. Let's see if we can get bit on this. This might be a little tougher though if we do get a bite uh, trying to get it over the fence because yeah, it's a little bit lighter of a setup. Ooh, that looks so good in the water. I'm surprised I didn't break the rock. It's my first time trying. Yeah. Come on, fish. I feel like it's been a while since I've thrown artificials too. We've just been so hung up on the freaking saltwater game. This was always, you know, a main staple in the channel. I've kind of got away from it a little bit as of late, but freshwater fishing is just so much fun, man. It's all type of fishing. You never know what's gonna happen. And the fact that I saw fish, dude, got me kind of excited. Let's throw a few more casts here and we'll just scoot around. There's a nice waterfall thing over there that we might head to. This bait looks so good though. Oh, hello. All right, one more cast right along the wall here, kind of. Anyone home? I don't know if I mentioned or not, but it has been just really weird weather recently. So that would not surprise me if that affects these fish. Also, I'm actually gonna or one more cast just because we saw those fish just chuck one way out there let that sink and reel it in oh there's a turtle over there but it's just been storming like really really rainy really windy i just really haven't been able to get out and really fish there's not many bridges that i know and i'm still learning this area too like all these areas that i'm at so all this stuff is pretty new still. Scoot! I feel like freaking Lightning McQueen on this thing. Ciao. Yeah, this is one of like the most difficult things I feel like. It's like finding the fish and then figuring out what they want. Do they want a moving bait? They want something a little bit slower? They want shinier? They want obnoxious? Are they shallow? Or are they deeper? Do they just not want anything? If these turtles could talk, man. They could really help me out. I'm not really seeing much over here. One more cast towards that way, and then we're just gonna scoot, I think, all the way over to that waterfall. Moving water is always a good place to try to find fish, especially in a still pond. Uh-oh. We got some nuts in our way. Little acorn-looking dudes. Oh, takes it like a champ. Oh, yeah, we are scooting, baby. Look at that. Water coming out of there, going into there. It's gotta mean fish, right? said <clears throat> that's got to mean fish right huh <laughs> interesting 
interesting. Maybe a little bit further out. It's crazy because there's such a clear difference in the water that's coming out. It's like dirtier. Hmm. Okay, we got the worm with the weight back on. Just like did not look good without it. You know how Senko, like if you weightless Texas Rig Senko, it has like a nice beautiful dance down to the bottom. Yeah, this thing just like, it just, it doesn't do that. <laughs> Which probably it's not meant to. I did not know that though. Again, this is the only moving water in this whole pond which that brings more oxygen into the water, kind of stirs some stuff up. It's coming from up top, so there could be like stuff falling down there. It's been raining a lot, so there could be worms falling down. Other stuff that these fish could be waiting on. Could be warmer water. And these fish could be a little cold from what's been going on. Maybe not though. Maybe they got a secret hideout. We just gotta find it. We're full of gunk. I'm trying to get it into this pipe. It's like a weird looking pipe. This is fun though, man. We haven't been really catching yet. But this reminds me of, uh, I don't know. Back in the old days. All right, we're gonna try to get it into this pipe area. Maybe we should have got a jig. Let's chuck this worm out there. Oh, we got a fish. He's got it. We got a freaking fish. Oh, dude, that's not a bad fish. Oh, dude, hold on. How am I gonna get this? Oh my God, oh my God, don't jump. Please don't jump. Oh, dude, that's a really nice fish. At least it feels like one. It's not really fighting though, what the heck? Oh God. How am I gonna get that up? Hopefully this doesn't break or my rod doesn't break. Oh, don't do that. Do not do that. Oh, 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 just broke. Not my rod, but the freaking line. Oh no, it actually just came out of his mouth. All right, chill, 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 chill. Holy crap. Oh, okay. If you guys could go down there, hit that thumbs up button for me. That would be greatly appreciated because that is a freaking nice bass right there. I don't actually have my scale with me, which probably isn't the smartest idea, but this is like, what do you think? Three pounder ish? Wow. <laughs> that feels so freaking good, man. He, he was just out a little bit more. I knew I had to put that weight back on. I, look, buddy, I don't know why you're not in that beautiful pipe over there, but I'm not mad about it. I appreciate you whacking us. Boom. Heck yeah, man. We scooted and we succeeded. Let's see what's going on with this. I don't know. Yeah, no, he just launched it. Scares me a little bit. Are we... Yeah, no, we're not afraid at all. I just need a new worm. He chucked my worm. He went, went freaking flying to the next state. Whew, all right, dude. I was actually jigging that a little bit slower, too. And boom, we got some blue sparkles coming out on us. So that is all we're catching on right there. Hopefully, I do not lose this because this is the last weight <laughs> that we have. But we have some other stuff we got from the tackle shop. nice beautiful clearance fish feels good man feels good dude knowing that we only spent 50 bucks and not I, I don't know what would we have spent 60 hey man it's savings you know thought i just got bit that was some grassy gunk down there definitely gunky and grassy that's for sure oh it's starting to sprinkle again this little knee scoot is really getting a workout today. It's taking in all the elements. Honestly, when you guys are seeing this, um, this is probably gonna be my last video until Thanksgiving slash Black Friday and all that. So happy Thanksgiving to y'all. Hope you have some good food. Thanksgiving really, I, I, I don't know. It's kind of controversial thing, but Thanksgiving is not really my thing. Oh, get away from that turtle. There's just a lot of other food that I feel like I'd rather have. You know what I'm saying? I think it'll be different when like I have a house and I'm older and I'm the one doing the cooking. 
I want to like do the deep frying of the turkey and stuff. That looks so much better than baking it or whatever the heck else you do to it. All I'm saying though, I know a lot of people love Thanksgiving food. All I'm saying though, man, if you loved it so much, wouldn't you eat it more than once a year? And some people do. I understand that. I understand though more. It's just like, you know, the family and stuff. But I don't know. Is that too controversial of a topic? You know what I'm saying? If it were up to be had chicken parm, some nice angel hair. Some wings. Can't go wrong with wings. Oh, oh. One thing that's so funny to me is seeing all like the local Floridians. And this is North Florida, so it's not even like, you know, like hot, hot like that all the time. But when it gets to these temperatures, like today, you know, it's not hot, it's pretty chilly. Got the overcast, like a little drizzle and stuff. Everybody's in like winter gear. It's so funny. What are we on? <laughs> it's a PB. Get it up. Oh yeah. I don't even think I can get this up, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What a stump. That is beautiful. Get off my freaking line. Oh, beautiful release. All right, so here is kind of a quick update. We were over there. We went all the way around and now we're over here. So we've almost made a full loop. This corner though might be the best looking spot of the whole place. Oh my gosh, this feels bigger than the first one. I can't tell though. Oh, it's all the way out there. Dude, these fish fight weird in here, man. Whew. Come here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's a nice one. Dude, there are fighters in this freaking pond. Come here. Chill, 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 chill. I need you up. Here. Oh, whoo. Okay. Yet again, another freaking nice one. Oh my gosh. It has taken so long. I've went around the pond, around the pond, around the pond, scooted darn near everywhere. Hold on, let me put these down for a sec. Boom. Definitely not as big as the first one. Definitely not, but solid freaking fish, man. I'd say that's probably like one one and a half somewhere in that range thank you so much for biting buddy let's get you back down there boom oh man that water is clear i can see him going all right i was literally about to head out and i was like please just needed a sign of hope there it is right there all right so i actually fished with all the baits that we got i fished there for hours but they really only wanted the worm it seems like i don't know it, it's been like weird weather as i kind of said and it's been colder and I guess this day was like a colder day, so maybe that had something to do with like the slow bite. I don't know, I really could not find the fish. And then when I did find some, they would get kind of spooked pretty easy. So I don't know if this is like a very pressured spot. I don't know. Hey, what's up, man? I'm thankful for you. Again, happy Thanksgiving to y'all. There is a sale on static seasoning. This is the cheapest it's probably ever going to be. Black Friday deal down in the description below. As I said, we'll find out in the next video what's going on with the foot. And uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this video. Decent clearance section, decent catches. Can't ask for much more than that. Again, thank you guys so much for all the freaking support. We are almost at 600K. That is insane. All I gotta say is let's keep this rolling. Thank y'all for watching. See you next video. Boop. You wanna know just where? Well.